This conference is important because in the past, when I was thinking about becoming a lawyer, conferences like these didn't exist. And I applaud Evangeline Mitchell for having the vision and the courage to put something like this together. We can't imagine what we have not seen in lots of ways. If we don't see it, it's much harder for us to imagine. Imagination is extremely powerful, but what is we also know is powerful is actually seeing people who have shared our lived experience. This particular conference really is, a, is an opportunity to give um, pre-law students a glimpse at what it looks like, what the future holds. It's been very helpful for me to be here and just encourage them that they deserve a seat at the table, that they deserve to be here. You get to talk to lawyers that are in certain disciplines of, you know, areas of practice. Um, the thing that brought me to this conference was I just wanted to be able to get more knowledge and experience and understanding. Personal statements, diversity statements, how to present your best self in the application process. Network with, uh, with different professionals. I'm struggling studying for my LSAT right now, and I really needed to hear that you, know, you, you can achieve that score, you can get to the school that you want to get into, and you can do well. Even if you're not going to a top tier like national school, you can still achieve what you want to achieve. I think there's a very special thing that happens when black people get into a room and bounce ideas off of each other. Being around like-minded people, people of color that are aspiring and pushing to reach those goals and such high aspirations such as being Supreme Court justices or being a lawyer, uh, whether that's in entertainment or criminal law. Not everyone who goes to law school is an attorney. And that's one of the things that I learned at this conference. Um, you can impact your community in a lot of ways with a law school education. It's important to have black representation a lot because this is probably the most white profession in this whole country. I believe in the power of representation and for them to be able to see black lawyers, black law students of all shades, all different types of melanin, hair type, textures, everything. I have always wanted to be a lawyer since I was very little. There are good lawyers out there, but there's also bad lawyers out there. And that's something I want to, I want to be one of the good lawyers. The lawyers, they introduced me to another side of um, not necessarily practicing law, but even more so working on the legislative side to help anticipate the policies and things like that. So they definitely gave me a different outlook on how I could use law today. I believe that I want to study educational policy. Um, I'm interested in um, being able to use the law to implement social change in the area, in the educational gap. I think maybe, maybe my biggest takeaway from the conference was that there are people waiting for me. Um, there, there are people waiting for me on the other side, whatever that may be, right? The other side of the bar, physically, as in like, as in like the bars for, uh, for, for prison. You know, there are other people waiting for me to be successful. There are other people waiting for me to be empowered. There are other people waiting for me to basically live in my purpose. It took a lot for me financially because I, I wanted to invest in my future and having to you know catch a flight, um, pay for the hotel and food and Ubers and stuff here. And I really wanted to come to this to see how it would be an investment in my future. And I'm so glad that I chose to come. It's really, really great to know that everything will be all right and that there are so many different people who are willing to support me through this process. And as a result, I'm really excited to help other people who are going through the same exact thing as well.